St. Norbert College in De Pere honored one of its alumni tonight. Chuck Holton graduated from St. Norbert in 1952. He was an athlete, played basketball, went on to even play half a dozen years with the Harlem Globetrotters. Today, a special recognition when he was back on campus. Fox 11's Becky DeVries explains. Green Bay was pretty much all white. The team was all white. Chuck Holton shared his story with St. Norbert College students. Things were a little different when he went to school here. It's always been a great institution, as you probably know. But maybe there wasn't enough reaching out to try to bring in students of various cultures. Uh, Back then, Holton worked on the college newspaper and was the only African American in his class. He was also the first African American to graduate from St. Norbert. There were more, I think, at least among the students, probably more apprehension or, you know, wondering, now what's this guy all about? Or what's he like? It wasn't long before uh, we had chances to talk and communicate with one another. Now the multicultural center at the school bears Holton's name. He went to school here in the late 40s and the 50s. He had to have had struggles, but yet we knew that he was such a gracious person and humbled about it, but he, he just seemed like a perfect person to name the center after. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's an honor, uh, you know, a distinct honor for me. And you wonder if you can live up to that, that kind of an honor. He's a leader, and it makes me want to be a leader and continue that role. At St. Norbert College. Holton was involved in athletics at St. Norbert, and after college, he played for the Harlem Globetrotters for six years. I thought that would be the pinnacle <laughs> of my life in terms of, you know, a rare opportunity, but uh, this stops it. This stops it. You just had no idea what, what life's going to bring you. I'm pleased and I'm honored. In De Pere, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. When Holton went to St. Norbert, the school was all male, and he says his only disappointment is that the college became co-ed after he left.